Welcome to our Excel VBA tutorial series. In today's video, we'll explore how you can automate data entry and formatting tasks using Excel VBA. By the end of this tutorial, you'll gain an understanding of how to automate these tasks, declare variables, define ranges, and leverage the power of Excel VBA to save time and increase efficiency in your Excel workflow. Let's get started. We begin by automating data entry. Imagine you have a large data set and need to populate specific cells with the same value or a series of values. Excel VBA can help you achieve this quickly and effortlessly. Here's how. First, let's open the VBA editor in Excel. You can do this by pressing Alt plus F11 or by clicking on Visual Basic in the Developer tab. Now let's say we want to populate cells A1 to I1 with the value hello. Here's how the code accomplishes that. First, we declared a variable called entry value and specified its data type as string using the as string part. This variable will hold the value we want to enter, which is hello. Next, we declared a variable called rng of type range. This variable will be used to store the range of cells we want to populate with the value hello. Using the set keyword, we assigned the range a1i1 to the variable rng. This means we want to work with the cells in that specific range. Finally, we assigned the value of entry value, which is hello, to the value property of the range variable rng. This effectively populates the cells in the range with the value hello. To summarize, we declared the entry value variable to hold the value hello, set the rng variable to represent the range a1 i1, and then assign the entry value to the value property of the rng range, populating those cells with the value hello. Now let's run our macro, close the VBA editor, and execute it. You can do this by going to the Developer tab, clicking on Macros, selecting our Automate Data Entry macro, and clicking Run. As you can see, when we execute the macro, it performs flawlessly, seamlessly automating the data entry process with efficiency. Now let's explore automating formatting tasks using Excel VBA. This can be incredibly useful when you have a consistent formatting style to apply across multiple worksheets or workbooks. Let's see how it's done. Here's the VBA code to accomplish this. Here we first define the range A1I8 as RNG. This allows us to specify the range of cells on which we want to apply the formatting. Now, using the powerful with statement, we can conveniently apply multiple formatting settings to the specified range in a concise manner. Within the width block, we begin by setting the font color to blue. To achieve this, we specify the desired RGB value of 0, 0, 255. Next, we apply bold formatting to the text by setting the bold property to true. Continuing with the formatting, we set the cell fill color to yellow by using the RGB value. To further enhance the appearance and structure of the range, we apply continuous border lines using the XL continuous line style. Lastly, to ensure that the borders are subtle yet distinguishable, we set the border thickness to thin by using the XL thin constant. All right, let's run this macro, but this time from the VBA editor and observe how it performs. You can execute the macro by clicking on the run button in the toolbar or by pressing the F5 key. And there you have it. By running the macro, we can see that it performs flawlessly, automating the formatting tasks as intended. That's it for this video. You've learned how to automate data entry and formatting using Excel VBA. From automating data entry by populating cells with specific values to formatting tasks such as changing font color, applying bold formatting, setting cell fill color, and adjusting border styles and thickness. In addition, you've gained an understanding of the importance of declaring variables and utilizing the with statement for efficient automation. With these newfound skills, 
I encourage you to practice using these examples and start automating your own tasks today. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials. Happy coding, and I'll see you in the next video.